Remember two things this election season, right? Number one, Donald Trump wants the economy to crash. And he admitted on television he wants a depression this year. Yeah. He admitted that, that. He's babbling. And I tell you what, when he messes up now, something that he's never had, he's got an opponent that says, oh, um, three seconds ago in New Hampshire, Donald Trump said this. And the Biden campaign puts it up. Here's their latest ad. Donald Trump is truly confused. Nikki Haley is in charge of security. We offered her 10,000 people. They don't want to talk about that. He didn't just get me confused. He mentioned it over and over and over again. Yeah. He's not what he was in 2016. He has declined. That's a fact. I mean, we won last time. We won 50 states, right? This is not Donald Trump of 2016, guys. What? <laughs> what is... If he's off the teleprompter, he can barely keep a, co a cogent thought. I mean, that's just fact. We are an instant in a powerful death penalty we will put this on i think he's declining i stumbled and mumbled purposely i do speak in long complex sentences and i have a lot of material in each sentence you have voter id to buy a loaf of bread you have you have id to buy a loaf of bread have you noticed He's a little confused these days. A person close to Trump actually says that he's rattled by Biden's efforts to get under his skin. Wow. <laughs> you have, you have, oh, wow. I don't know, I need to buy the bread one, today. two. <laughs> you have my bread. Come on. And then he's going on and on. What's that? We are a very powerful institute uh, death penalty. And, and he famously won all 50 states in 2016, as, as, as he said. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I'm just watching that thing. George W. Bush has to be going, thank you for coming to me. For, what about this? Uh, but yeah, I mean, he is, I, we've talked about this, but the moment where he confused, not in the slip of the tongue, but again and again, Nikki Haley. In fact, I went up to Michigan to save the United Auto Workers from their union because their union was negotiating a terrible thing doing a terrible thing they were negotiating hourly wages but they weren't talking about the electric vehicles because they can have all the wages they want but in two years they're not going to have a job if they go with this mandate well i want to bring jobs back to the country i want to bring jobs back to the united states we were doing that under the trump administration at a level like nobody had ever seen now this visit is actually upsetting some union members including an executive board member who wrote a letter to the president of the team sir saying essentially that donald trump was a known union buster scab and insurrectionist so clearly some of the members here are upset by this visit in other words, your current negotiations don't mean as much as you think. I mean, I watch you out there with the pickets, but I don't think you're picketing for the right thing. But if they... Right, so one day you called, you called President Trump a scam. What do you mean? Uh, he's anti-union. Uh, you know, uh, when he became president in 2015, we, uh, workers, skilled trade workers at Volkswagen voted to organize. The company, as, all, as many companies do, you know, broke the law. They delayed uh, their contract when they were fighting for a contract, and could say wait. They wanted to wait till President Trump was sworn in at the time, and then he put a anti-union National Labor Relations Board in place, and that, in essence, killed that contract. So, you know, in 2015, he talked about doing a rotation of good-paying jobs in the Midwest, somewhere where they pay less and have people begging for their jobs back at lower wages. You know, in 19. Uh, well, so in 15, uh, when Volkswagen workers voted to organize, um, he put an LRB in place that uh, killed the organizing drug, that killed the organizing uh, the contract for those workers. Um, you know, in, in 19, when he was president, he didn't support the strike. He told workers at Lordstown Assembly Plant, which was closing, don't sell your houses. And then he did nothing to support them. You know, versus versus President Biden, who in 2023, when a plant was going to close in Belvedere, Illinois, for Stellantis, he stood with those workers. He helped us save a community and helped bring not one plant, but two plants back to life. And he stood with our members on the picket line in our fight for economic justice. Trends here may be changing uh, because President Trump, for Trump has been leading uh, national poll after national poll over President Biden for the last couple of weeks, but not in this one. And maybe it's an outlier, maybe it's not, but Quinnipiac has Biden up on Trump six points, 50 to 44. 
the Biden team has been trying to pivot to general election mode. They've been focusing on abortion access and on union jobs. And the Trump team has spent the last week or so dealing with his legal issues. This poll does have Haley doing better against Biden than Trump. She's got him, according to Quinnipiac, by 5, 47 to 42 nationally. But this is a matchup that's unlikely to happen based on current polling that puts Trump way ahead of her in primary states that she needs at the moment. And we may also have an answer to the question, who do third party candidates hurt? Ultimately, according to this poll, they hurt Trump because both Biden and Trump lose support when polled against the major third parties. But Biden still wins in this poll. Uh, and if RFK Jr. continues playing in 14 percent, he is certainly going to be a spoiler for one candidate or another, because that is a huge percentage of the voting public. Back to you.